pump it up with air to pressurize it yeah. with an air pump. And then once you get the nice spray of air, you know, don't do this in your bedroom, but yeah. once you get it, shove that in here. They'd heat that up, you see, now we're vaporize the gasoline. Vaporize the gasoline. Like a blowtorch. Fill this with water and uh, hope that the uh, pressure relief valve works until you get a good head of steam and then you'd open this up and this is a two-cylinder steam engine. Yeah. Oh, God. I mean, I can't imagine giving that to a kid. kid and he, and yeah, this is something you're, you know, you're, you know, for your 10-year-old. Well, that's what it was. I've got a catalog that says, get one for your boy, for your... What's it say? Yeah, you, yeah. Sir, you mentioned this was a, a catalog item. Oh, this is it here, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your boy one for yourself. <laughs> Fire. Yeah. Steam. Yeah. Go, go in the basement and play with the matches. Yeah, there sharp right propeller there. blades. It's spinning. Dolphin yeah. displacement hydroplane seaboat. $120 FOB New York, and that's 19, what year? 1922. Wow. And in those days, 1922, that, that was, was probably by half of a Model yeah, T. Yeah, wow. So, I mean, it's the equivalent of several thousand dollars to now. Wow. Uh, the days were different back then. You were, you know, you're given a, a, a BB gun. Yeah, I had one. You know, <laughs> yeah. And, Nobody uh, ever said, here's a can of gas, go light it on fire, though. Yeah, I yeah, I'll show you how to do it, yeah. and you go play. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. How long have you had this for? Uh, I've, I've been collecting for 30 years. I've got over 800 of them. Oh, God, yeah. Have you had this function? Is it a working model? I haven't had this one run, but I've got about uh, 50 of them. Oh, really? The same, yeah, yeah, the same design. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah. Well, this was made by Boucher. They came in uh, five different sizes. This is the middle one. Oh, okay. So I've got uh, half a dozen or ten of each, each size. Wow. Oh, these are beautiful. And I run them. Um, I've run most of these ones, most of these ones. I haven't run the one on the end, it's, I'm afraid of it. It's a great big uh, hand machine, two-cylinder gasoline engine. Yeah, made in 1936, and I, I think I'd want to take it apart for sure. Is, you know, yeah, I don't want to run it more. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I just want to see the O-Drive I see. Now, once you got this thing running, what was it? You just let it loose? This went 10 miles an hour, yeah, and you let it loose. Now, there is a rudder. Unfortunately, I left it at home, but there's a oh, rudder okay. that hung on the back. He had a little bit of control over it, but... Uh, so you'd set it just to... To try and almost do a circle. Right, a big... A big I, come I, back I to mean, you. In the day like today, it would just go wherever it went. Right. We'd chase it. 10 mile an hour. That's what's said in the big catalog, wow. yeah. And the same with uh, this outboard, is this gas? No, this is electric. There's oh, this is electric, electric here, but this is uh, for... Yeah. Oh, I see, it's actually it's on the shaft fake, there, yeah. It's our fake outboard motor. All oh, right. I think this was made by the uh, KK from Murphy, and I bought this in Belgium. Huh. And uh, they had a plant over there. I, they may still have a plant, I don't know, but they did back in the late 60s, the early 50s, early 60s. And I think this, because it's way too detailed, there's a... You can see all the gauges and all and, and pedometers, right. set needles and everything. It's way too detailed for a hobby. It's right. built by somebody for a purpose. Yeah. And uh, I don't know the story on it though. This is a, a display model boat from Shepard Boats. This is a little gas powered race boat that ran on a, a tether. Oh right. It's, it's like they did their cars, yeah, yeah in the old yeah, airplanes right. used to. <laughs> That's on the mid-30s as well. Is that the flywheel here? That's the flywheel, and it's on the propeller, but it, I don't know if this one is. It seemed, I, yeah, I was just curious. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, there it goes. This turns, uh, I, I, I've had this one running, but not for a couple of years. You, you just keep it turning to help yeah. lubricate. Keep, I just get yeah, a little drop spray a little of it. oil in it or something. Wow. What year? Uh, mid-30s. Mid-30s. 30, yeah, 35, 36, 37. Oh, I see. There's your... It's full ignition, right? It's full ignition. Yeah. This is a booster battery to get it started, and then it oh, okay. runs out the battery. Oh, right. Um, yeah. This little gasoline-powered outboard motor. What year is this? This is... I don't know the age of the boat. I'm guessing 40s. Wow. The, the, motor, itself, the motor itself is uh, 52, 53. Huh. It's beautiful. Yeah. That's the fly wheel. You, what, what was it a, a rope yeah, in the exactly. Give it a, a yank, yeah. These uh, are all battery operated. This one's from Boston. This is really this is really old. This is 1920s. A uh, little light on it. Fast, slow, different speeds, light on and off. This is the uh, on-off switch for the light. Uh, 
Paris, France, Paris, this is from France. Electric? Both of these are battery powered. Yeah. Yeah. How, how would these go? Uh, be, I guess. I, I've never run those, and I, frankly, I, there must be something to do with France, because the only two boats I've ever seen that look like they have model air, uh, airplane engines mounted on top of a deck. This is clockwork. Sorry, this one's clockwork. This is key wise. Oh, probably key there. Look at that. Actually, I was playing with it earlier today. There you go. Yeah, I can see it unwinding that, but I guess there's no speed control. But there is a rudder. You can two rudders. I can see. Yeah. set. This is a steam-powered outboard motor. Two cylinder. There's a, a boiler underneath here. You put a burner in to get a steam up, and then that literally runs off steam. Um, I oh, you lost the blade on here. Yeah, I can I see. Know. Yeah, right. Look at that, eh? Somebody must have seen it and decided to copy it because this is almost the identical design. About oh, wow, yeah. Fifty percent larger, and this is completely handmade. This is not a factory. Right. Deal yeah. Steam as well. Oh, this, oh, it's wood and metal. I see it's oh, because it's probably uh, steam. You need a bit of metal in here, I guess, to it would get very hot. Yeah, yeah. This is a uh, traditional uh, design. This is a single-step hydroplane. Single-step. Uh, okay. late, late 30s, and this was another one. Same company, Boucher. Yeah, right, it's authentic right down and original, right down to that aluminum uh, that, uh, rudder. rudder. Yeah, right. Now, this would have run on a tether. Uh, you know, the tether to, to keep it in. So you can lock in the rudder. You, you can screw yeah. that, I guess, yep. or it exactly locks it to position. Exactly what it does. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I got the it's lying on the yeah, I don't. Yeah. yeah. I just realized I should turn it. Well, you can. It's just when it's on the proper. Oh, okay. Yeah. What year is this? Approximately. They made this boat in the late 30, 38, 39, and then I think they probably stopped in the war. But Right. Yeah, I've lost track. But this is beautiful. This, this is a one of a mass made hand machined engine. It's a four stroke. It's a four stroke. It's uh, yeah. sand cast uh, crankcase. Right. And, uh, hand machined uh, cylinder uh, cylinders and cylinder heads. Um, it's got a magneto instead of a battery. Huh. Um, four stroke, so you know there's so cool. You got the exhaust. And two, uh, two exhausts. Yeah. And uh, is this oil here? Is this no, oil? that's a fuel tank. It is fuel. Okay. I was gonna say. There's no way to control <laughs> this thing. There's no more. 1936. Well, I got all the papers from the 1926. 36. 36. 1936. Uh, so there's no way to control it. Uh, it's just it's too early for remote control. It's got no tether point. But it's got this little thing in it, which is the mechanical timer that lets the ignition run 30 seconds and then cuts it up. So you would basically send it off in its way here, knowing that in 30 seconds it's going to stop okay. and go get it. Yep. If not, I'm guessing you lose 2,000 hours worth of your time to build that engine. I mean, if it's sunk to the bottom. Yeah, you know, there's two, I, uh, could you do that in 2,000? I don't know. Right. Really. Hundreds of hours of time. And it's all running, and hopefully this thing shuts it down and it doesn't sink. That's just the ignition cutout. So a timer for the ignition. See it up. Let's it run for 30 years. You can actually set it. There's three positions. I don't know if it's 30, 60, and 90 seconds. Let it run and then shut it down. 